time for our first ever global Google Plus Hangout. <laughs> yes. These are all historic moments, people. We have here in the studio, along with the Will of DC, please welcome Mistress of Moosh, <laughs> Olga <laughs> Kay. Woo! Hi. I'm tweeting, I'm tweeting right yeah. now. You are <laughs> doing everything like in the moment, yeah, in real yeah. time. I'm an working, instant tweeter. I'm working as we're speaking right now. Now, you live in LA, but you are from Russia. Yes. And you've been doing YouTube for a while, but you have a new milestone stone to share with people, right? Yes, I would love to share. Um, so, I've been, like you said, I've been doing YouTube for five or six years, and One I've of done the originals, right, <laughs> right. And um, I've done so many things on YouTube. I did comedy, daily vlogs, cats channels, uh, dogs channels, gaming channels, and right now I just opened my new channel, and it's a beauty fashion channel. Very nice. And I've never been so excited. Yes. Yay. Uh, very appropriate, Miss Fashionista. Thank stuff. you. <laughs> Now it's evolved Thank for you. you so much, right? And how has it changed? You're getting more opportunities than ever before. Yes, for sure. Uh, but also, like even my work pro process changed. I used to film with my laptop. I would, <laughs> I would run around with this laptop with the eyesight, filming around islands all over LA and anywhere that I traveled. Now I have, you know, good cameras and lighting and writers and uh, editors. So there's so much change. It's a whole business. Well, yeah. we also have our superstar Google Plus Hangout. From around the globe, Lindy from Bub's Beauty in Hong Kong, Peru's Jose Romero, and from Auditing the News, please welcome Michael Gregory. Hey guys. Hey. Woo. Um, I want to hear you guys out here if we can. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure I'm, I'm hearing you guys. There she is. Um, Michael, first off, for you, you've had many YouTube firsts. You were one of the first to create a song that hit the charts. Now tell me about what that milestone meant for you and even with this recent one, how you continue to keep coming back with more. I think I just shed a single tear when that happened. I, I think that was, you are talking about the Bed Intruder song. It was uh, 89 on the Billboard charts. And so uh, we, sent, we sent Antoine a gold record. We sent him some champagne. We just had a little celebration from afar. Yeah, and you were also able to give that money back to him, which is amazing. Now, what do you do with this guy? Now we have Dame Drops, this new guy. Do you continue to do those deals? So we're doing the same deal. It's just a 50-50 split on iTunes. And we're not really giving them anything because they co-wrote the song. You know, it's like Rodgers and Hammerstein. It's like writing the sound of music, practically, except it's about a cheeseburger. And, and <laughs> how do you know what songs are going to be amazing to remix? Uh, you can tell with, with uh, Dame Drops, with the new song, because he just has so much passion. And it really is like a love song, you know? It's like a great love ballad, like Whitney Houston. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I, I was feeling it. So we also have Jose in Peru, who's really one of the only YouTubers in Peru that has been a breakout star. Jose, when did you first see your videos starting to get traction? Hey, Shira. Uh, well, like, in Peru, I started two years ago. And in Peru, like YouTube was used just basically to watch music videos or sport videos. Uh, so I started this show, this clip show, and I started realizing after I got like a, a lot of buzz in social media. So when I got like to like 2,000, 3,000 fans, I was like, oh man, this is going to be something, you know, and then started snowballing around. But the, the first couple thousand is yes. really when you start feeling it, right? Yes, even the first 100, I remember posting my first video, and because I've seen so many people, like Lonely Girl 15 and Lisa Nova, and everyone was commenting, and I posted my first video, I'm like, nobody's saying anything. Why is that? <laughs> and then slowly people started watching, so that's, yeah. That's but I feel like now you see a few thousand, you're like, oh, whatever, that's nothing, because people <laughs> expect such big numbers. Yes. A lot of things changed. Uh, now to be really popular on YouTube, you re literally have to have millions of views and millions of subscribers to spend yeah. out. And someone in tough. Hong Kong who's here right now does have millions of views, over a million subscribers, <laughs> Lindsay in Hong Kong. I want to bring you in here. How have you seen YouTube change? I dis well, I'm well, let, well, oh. well, like a lot of people back then, there was, um, it's all by webcams. It was fine, but these days, we're in the digital age and it's all about high definition. So sign quality is important, picture quality is important, lighting is very important, and there's just been such an explosion of YouTubers, which is awesome. And now for you, you do a lot of makeup and beauty videos, but it's also important for you to connect. Like, how do you continue to connect with your fans and um, inspire? I know that's a big theme for you. Well, as you get more subscribers, it can be it can get pretty pretty tough, but. Um, 
we just continue to inspire. Just, I always try to touch base with them constantly through Twitter, through my Facebook um, official fan page. And recently, I was in a music video, and I got to hang out with hundreds of them. And they're so sweet because um, they even brought like engagement gifts and stuff. So they're really, really thoughtful. I want to go through each of you, your, your YouTube, your own YouTube milestones. What was a turning point for each of you? I'm going to start uh, with you, Jose. Like, my soul for me for YouTube, like, when I watched, like, a first video go viral, that for me was, like, so special. Because, you know, basically, like, YouTube gives a window of the world to anyone. So I just felt that was, like, super important. Just people just sharing uh, moments, videos, experiences through YouTube. Going viral, it's pretty big. Because he, I mean, while, while being in Peru, he, he definitely has a huge worldwide audience. We have a lot of people talking in the chat right now going, Mox, 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 Mox. So yeah. they're very excited Hello, to see Peru. Him. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Where are you all from? Let us know in the chat room. We'll give you a shout out right now. What was a turning point for you, Olga? Uh, well, um, I always say I've never been a viral YouTuber. None of my videos really went viral, but I've been doing it for so long. And I remember two years ago when um, I was approached to do Olga K's Circus. And I said, yeah, sure, let's put this video together. And 40 people were on the crew, and everyone was working together. And everyone was so excited when it came out. I it was remember, such a huge deal. Yeah, like everyone was tweeting about it. I was like, wow, we have a great community. And that was a big thing for me, where uh, a lot of people recognize you know, something beautiful. and. And it, they it was really, I think, out. one of the first short films that YouTubers did. Because yeah. I mean, that's what it was. It was such a. It, it, it was a new you, It was ahead of the thing. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, Michael, what was a big milestone for you, a turning point that you said, okay, there's a huge opportunity here? The first milestone was when somebody other than my mom commented on a video. <laughs> it was like, what? Somebody watches this. You're just like, I did it at last. Free at last. That's a leap. It definitely <laughs> is. But then at that point, you get fans, you get people watching. Is there a lot of pressure to continue to create that huge hit? Uh, I think if you put that pressure on yourself, then you're not doing yourself a service creatively. You should just uh, do whatever drives you, and you're going to make a better video. And then if you get a hit, you get a hit. Lindy, what does it mean to you to be a, a viral star, YouTube star in Hong Kong? Um, it is incredible. I mean, with Hong Kong, I feel like YouTube, it's, it still hasn't properly expanded yet. Like, it's, there's not that much people using it as, as much as it's in the States or in Europe. But now I can slowly see it shifting. And um, yeah, it's very, very exciting. And um, I guess being able to be in the press a little bit more helps to um, expand the market a little bit more. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, mm. where do we see this platform going? I want to hear from everyone because I'm sure everyone has different takes on where they see <laughs> their their That's channels the going. And question for ever. their fans, <laughs> for all your fans out there, like, what can they expect from you in the next year? So? Well, I feel like I've been saying this for the last year and a half, but I feel like finally the two worlds will collide, where YouTube will collide with Hollywood, and Hollywood is already here. Yes. But more and more, we're going to see more collaborations of all the creatives together, and it's not like oh, they're just on the internet. So now it's going to be one big thing. Will. Yeah, I, I think it's impossible to predict where YouTube's going to go, but I think that the more people get involved, especially the more people in, in Hollywood, and not just you know Hollywood, but just kind of in all traditional mediums, it's just going to benefit, benefit everybody. Hopefully we'll see you on another show, because I know you just ended your daily show, Will. I, <laughs> but yes. you're here for this week. I'm Will's here, here for, for you. I'm always here week. for you, Shira. Now, I want to go to our global folks, Jose and Lindsay, uh, where you see the future of this platform based on where you're, you are in the world. Lindsay? Um, I know it's a, a heavy question. <laughs> we ask hard-hitting questions here. It is exciting because back then it was all about TV, but now these days internet is getting so powerful, right? So because internet is the next to be thing, um, I can definitely see us. Um, I don't want to say like completely taking over, but mm. I, it, it seems like it's definitely heading in that direction. Yeah, definitely. And Jose, I know you've recently even started another uh, channel, The Cute Win Phil in Espanol, which was a show from a was, YouTuber over here, and now it's becoming franchised almost. International, yeah. Well, yeah, like, I started doing like the, sh the Cute Win Fail show in Spanish version, um, and it's going pretty good. It just started like two months ago. It's, it's doing pretty well. Um, and to answer your question about YouTube in Peru, I, I, just, I don't know where it's going to go, but I know it's going to be the future. Because I started doing YouTube videos because uh, I was, 
my inspiration was based off American YouTubers. So what I wanted to do with uh, my show and what was going on in Peru and YouTube is just inspire people to make more videos so they can get into this culture, you know? Get into the culture and, and more people can become YouTubers. Definitely. What do you have to say to all your fans watching? We have a ton of them in the chat room. KI Facebook, that's like my, my branded catchphrase. So, <laughs> I, I to everyone. Hola Peru. Yeah, represent. <laughs> yeah, Peru for the win. <laughs> uh, hopefully you'll come to LA at a certain point soon too. And, and Michael, finally for you, I know you're, you're going to be going to TV maybe soon with the brand, with Autotune the News. Did you expect that you guys were going to be where you are today? Never, ever. Never in a million years. <laughs> you well, lived did, for a we... million years? <laughs> yeah, what? I was born like 900,000 years ago, so a little bit of exaggeration there. But... And so what do you have to say to Dam? Do you, do you have a, a thank you to say to all these stars that you've been able to bring to another level? Oh, yeah. I was just talking uh, to him on the phone the other day. We were thanking each other. Um, I, I think he's probably going to be in New York pretty soon doing some TV. Very nice. So more to come, I'm sure. For sure. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining in our Google Plus live chat. We really appreciate it. Hope to see you in LA soon. Yes. And thanks to yeah. Yeah. Olga and Will for joining. Any last minute, any last minute shout outs from the chat room that we need to get to? Oh, oh uh, they're just saying their names over and over and over again. Oh, they love the them shout all out. so much. <laughs> well, thanks to Olga. Thanks to Will for joining us today. And all of you for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Remember, we're live every single day. Every so day. come back here tomorrow at noon.